All right, this is step 12, converting measurements, and it asks what are the dimensions of your sculpture. In order to be able to do this step, you have to understand how a ruler works. So drawing a 10, which is this video, shows how a ruler works. The first thing that you need to understand about our rulers is the end of the ruler is zero. And then the big line behind the numbers are the inches. Also, both of our rulers are, both sides of our rulers are inches. And then the little number at the bottom of the ruler on that side just tells you how many little lines there are to get to the number. Okay, here's how a ruler works. If this was a ruler measuring inches, this would be zero and this would be one. What that means is this is the zero line out of one line, and this means this is the first line out of one line. As I add lines, this concept remains too, true. If I put a line in the center, this is now line zero out of two. This is now, if I count them, one out of two, which we say as one half. This becomes the second line out of two, but we know that that simplifies down into one. This concept remains true as I add more lines. This is still zero now out of four, because we never count the zero line. This is the first line out of four, and we say one fourth. This is the second line out of four, but then we naturally convert this back into the simplest form and say one half. This is the third line out of four, and this is the fourth line out of four. So if I add a bunch of lines to this ruler, a ruler will always say on it sixteenths or eighteenths or thirty seconds, so I don't have to count to see how many lines, I just look for that number. So this would tell me that this is a sixteenths ruler. And then if I asked you to tell me what this measurement was, the simplest way to do it is to count the lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the ninth line out of 16. And then if I would like to say it in the simplest form, then I need to find that math.